and then you're there and going, hey, I go to Uganda, uh, people aren't buying this, and then now a week later, you've been proven right, the government's like, don't show this movie anymore. Uh, people really are getting angry. Stay there. We'll do about 10 more minutes with you. Patrick Henningsen's with us. We'll be right back, folks. You're getting what's really happening right now. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones Show. All right, Son Yu is joining us from her high school. I uh, won't give her... I won't give you her last name or where she's at for her own uh, privacy. But she had the courage a little over a week ago to say, hey, uh, this whole Coney 12 thing, I've got family there. My parents are from there. I visit. He's not even been an issue for many years. This Something's going on here. And she got overwhelming support, but some st still attacked her. Now, since then, uh, you know, a lot has developed. Our worst fears about this have been proven true. It's a total CIA front invasion force plan. Um, Patrick was just making the point during the break, it's like the last days of Hitler, the Hitler youth. When the propagandists have to start targeting high school kids, you know you're in trouble. I mean, the system is now trying to see if they can get kids hyping war. You know, go to your parents, tell them, call for an invasion, a peace war like Libya. And, and then you find out that's their whole program. This is their new push. They got George Clooney running around, Angelina Jolie. Uh, you know, just in five minutes or so, because I know you've got to get back to class there, uh, points you'd like to make to the world uh, now, you know, since you originally put that video out. Um, a couple points that I do have to put out. Um, through that video, some people thought that maybe I wasn't in favor of Coney getting justice. Yes, I do think he is a horrible man. But like I always say, like people really do need to do their own research, not just base it off of this one video that they saw through great editing and effects. Like I, I don't believe that they needed to exaggerate what they did in that video and the footage that they used was outdated and um and um i just i just really i just educate people like just educate yourselves and research do your own research maybe you'll find something that i may not know and you can come to me and tell me that very well said i see somebody's trying to talk to you is that your teacher yeah well go ahead and talk to your teacher for a moment go ahead <laughs> or if you don't need to speak to her, that's okay. Uh, you can leave her up just so I know. Um, she, she, oh, no. She left. Okay, great. Uh, well, we just appreciate your courage. Uh, we just appreciate your courage. Yes, you're on air. Okay, her Hello. video broke up. All right. Uh, San Yu, can you hear me? She's frozen. All right, we'll uh, we'll try to. Uh, sometimes if you re-click it, it'll uh, come right back. Great, and then we'll see when we get her. Wow, uh, Patrick, you have this whole presentation ready for this hour, and they happen to book her right during that time. But it, you are going to come in and, and expose Coney. You've got all the documents there. I mean, this is an open and shut, and it's so creepy to see them now literally going with the 1984 paradigm of war is peace. Yeah, the the, the Coney issue actually uh, goes right back to 1987. Okay. This guy's been running around the jungles of Yugon in 1987. Okay, let's let's take a let's take a lot a logical, deductive, logic sort of view at things. You've got a resistance army hiding in the a guerrilla army hiding in the jungles of Uganda. Okay, this sounds very familiar. We've seen this in Central America. We've seen this in other African countries all over the planet. There is a slight possibility, and I would actually wager money on it, Alex, that. Uh, the Lord's Resistance Army has links to either the CIA or the MI6 or the Mossad or something like this, okay? It's not out of the realms of possibility. And I know people are going to say, oh, my God, how can you say such a thing? Well, history is my guide. And well, that's actually been flagged now. There are some connections. Yeah, if there's even a remote connection, Alex, you know that the whole thing is absolutely filthy, okay? What, well, they always finance both sides. What, what, what Mussolini did, he did a deal with Obama, okay, in 2009. He said, well, I'm going to help you fight Muslim extremists in Somalia. Mussolini is the president for life in Uganda. He's more or less a dictator in, in those terms. He said, I'm going to help you fight the Muslim extremists or the Al-Qaeda I'm going to help you fight them in Somalia. And the reward Uganda got for that is $45 million of military equipment, which was delivered in 2010 and 2011. So the deal between the U.S. State Department and the Ugandan dictator has been going on since Obama came into office, okay? 
Obama is amazing. George Bush could not take the ball over the goal line for AFRICOM. A guy like Bush couldn't do it. Rick Perry couldn't do it. Any of these clowns who've got Obama, because he's a man of color, he is the guy who's going to score the touchdown as far as the AFRICOM objectives goes. And we know the State Department plan, who's running all this, is to cut off resources and kill Africans dead or in a hammer. So it's not just like, oh, they're wanting to run things, they're kicking out some bad guys. They're just projecting on the ICC website, every country's got a phantom boogie guy who hadn't been seen in a long time that they're going to invade, but the resolutions say, and anybody else we want to kill. I mean, it's just a license to invade. And let me tell you, I'm glad this girl came forward, okay, because she's, she's speaking from a point of real experience and reality. I went to an ICC hearing in London near the Houses of Parliament about a year and a half ago, and they were going after the Sudanese president at the time. So they had a, a, a big multi-panel debate on the subject. And all the Sudanese there were like, how dare you? How dare you violate our national sovereignty? You don't think that we can bring our own criminals to justice? We don't want a UN or an ICC coming into our... Well, the UN only goes after people that resist them, whether they're good or bad. They go after some guys that are bad, some that are good. They go after anybody that doesn't let them rob their country. It's a question of national sovereignty with the International Criminal Court. That's what it is. Well, exactly. The UN, the, the, that's what this is all about, is selling that the ICC is the final arbiter. And Obama is saying, the Supreme Court justices are saying the ICC is their boss. They're saying they're the boss over our military. This is global government. The kids' toys all say UN force now. It's no more U.S. Army. And and all, all the feel-good people on Facebook and Twitter who are backing Coney 2012, be aware that your country, the United States, is one of the only countries in the world that it didn't sign up to the bogus ICC uh, criminal court in the first place. Because if we did, if the United States did sign up to the ICC, uh, Ronald Reagan would have been in the dock for the uh, uh, mining the, uh, the Nicaraguan harbors. And there's a whole litany of crimes that go. Well, Iraq's a war crime if there ever was one. The end. Uh, the list is endless. Okay, that's why United States is not signed up to this global. But then backs it. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I mean, England would be on there. France, I mean, I, Libya is a war crime. It's All of these are classic war crimes, and it's incredible. Son Yu is back. Uh, she's there at high school. Uh, Son Yu, you were trying to finish any other points that you'd like to make uh, before you uh, go. Uh, really, I feel like I've said um, most of everything that I needed to say, but... Um I just do think that people should not try and follow into this trend because it's more than just a trend, um, especially that on their website they tell you just to sign your name and your email, and these people don't know what they're signing into, and it's really you're supporting military troops getting sent over to Africa. And for all these peace people are like, no, we don't want more people to die. This, this is going to cause more harm than good. What do you think about the way they talk to, because it's targeting high school and college students, they talk to them like at a Sesame Street level in some of these videos, like the Coney movie screening. People thought I was joking on radio when I went, you know, they're dancing like, ah, ah, oh, send the troops, oh. Uh. They actually are doing that, and it's so, it's like a Monty Python skit, but it's war, but they're all dressed in, you know, pink pastels, you know, with effeminate guys going, get Coney, get Coney. I mean, it's a, boy, let me tell you, the globalists are getting desperate here. I mean, this is some sick propaganda. What did you think about that? I mean, uh, I, I don't think Africans, uh, who are you know, on record pretty serious folks, like also the fact that the film looks like it's targeting children and is very mindless. Yeah, it does. I believe it targets children. It reminded me of when I was in elementary school and middle school when they would come in and have you like sell things for them and you would make the money, but you wouldn't really earn the money. It would go to them, so you'd win a little prize and... This is exactly like the same things that they're doing, except they're making money for, on their own for this. Like, I think they're connecting by giving you $5 off a T-shirt. They came to my cousin's high school, and she was like, yeah, the T-shirts were like $15. And I was like, they're more expensive on the website. But they, they try and make it seem like you're special and that you have all this power when it's really, yeah, you may do, but you don't know how to use it just yet. What do you think of Bono, uh, the, the, the papers, even the BBC reports, gives about 1.5% of the money? Oh, a fire drill. We better say bye to her. Oh, no, that was, my, that was actually my cell phone. Uh, what, do you make of, uh, what do you make of this whole business of African charities, and it turns out it's a total scam? 
it, well, it is a total, like 1.5%, you said, that's nothing. A little less than that, yeah. It's that's nothing. Like how they donate thirty percent, that's nothing. I looked into like feed my starving children and they donate ninety three percent of the proceeds and only seven goes to fundraising and the advertising. That's right. Plug there are groups that give over ninety percent. Plug them right now. And like well, i I know for sure that um Feed My Starving Children, there are always those food drives where you could just give food cans and they would give them directly to the people. And um, Exactly. It's just there's so much, there's more than just invisible children, and that's what people get through this YouTube video, and they blind everything else. And Yeah, it's not just, let's just help people with, yeah. with, 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 with dams and water treatment and seeds. That's what really helps folks in shovels or yeah. food. It's, oh, let's have an invasion. It's liberal. And you're like, no, this is a State Department run, pro-war <laughs> plan. Here's the documents. Shut up. You just hate the Africans. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what they say, and think like yeah you can feel good for posting a twitter status but that's not going to change anything and you can donate ten dollars to invisible children and there's a 70 percent chance it's not going to touch those kids you and what does is going to come with strings final question for you i'm sick of uh, angelina jolie always there with the starving kids reaching at her for a photo op i mean that is disgusting and then pushing u.n takeovers wars libya she's been right there as a cheerleader if she wants to say coney needs to be arrested for war crime well coney Coney's not pulling triggers. He's there as a propagandist. She's just as big or worse than Coney. I say clap her in irons. Mm -mm. I mean, it's a figure of speech, but I mean, do you get my point about these people that push war as peace? I mean, they're warmongers, even if they label it as peace. What's your take on that? Was that directed towards Sonia? Yes, or? yes, 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 Sonia, you. Oh, it just. It doesn't sit well with me. Like, people don't get it. Like, you don't, you can't just invade someone else's country and think that everyone is going to be happy about it. And you're going to say you're coming for peace with a big gun in your hand. No. You're going to, you're going to scare innocent people. Innocent people are going to react not in a good way. And like I said, it's just going to, it's going to add up and it's not going to add up well and it's not going to end well. You're right. Well, listen, thank you so much for spending time with us. Uh, give folks your YouTube channel or any other ways uh, media can contact you if they want to actually hear what you have to say instead of what the Coney minions are saying. Okay, thanks. Um, you can just look at my YouTube channel, uh, Son, you said it. Uh, my Coney videos, like the second video right under the first phony Coney video that Invisible Children made. So if you want to find me, you can message me through there and we can talk further. All right, thank you so much for spending time with us. Thank you, take care. What an amazing young lady, and, and, and people are waking up. Uh, you're chomping at the bit. You've got the floor, Patrick. <laughs> Look, the, the Coney 2012 uh, campaign, this is the ultimate act of desperation, okay? The, what they're doing is when you have to employ children, when you have to put children as troops on the field, okay? Like the last days of Berlin, right before the Reich fell, the last people out, all the other soldiers had already hightailed it out. They saw the Russians coming in. Who was left? The kids were left. The kids and a few hardcore people hanging deserters, okay? This really sad, sad sort of uh, point when you get to, and uh, for instance, Stalingrad, they're dead, nobody left to run the front line, so they had to get the 13, 14-year-olds up, throw a gun in their hand. And put him. This is not much different than that, Alex. This is this is looking at our civilization. They 